Hey guys, what's up? It's Kayla and welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be giving you four recipes that are perfect for a like Netflix movie night. I mean, they're pretty good for all situations. They'd be awesome for any type of party or get together, or like football Sunday, or even just hanging out on a relaxing day, whatever. But um, Caleb and I are gonna make these to have a movie night, so I thought that it would be perfect to make this video. The full recipes will all be linked down below. And I think that's all I have to say for now, so let's get into the video. The first recipe we're going to make is for these double fudge vegan brownies. So you're going to start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees. Then in a food processor, you're going to mix 3 quarter cup of white cannelli beans drained and rinsed really well with 3 fourths of a cup plus 3 tablespoons of maple syrup. And I know this probably seems like a lot, but there's a lot of cacao powder in the brownies, obviously to make them chocolate. So the maple syrup is necessary to keep them sweet and keep them from tasting kind of bitter. You're also going to add a quarter cup plus two tablespoons of unsweetened applesauce. And this works as a replacement for oil. As you guys probably know, I like to cook without oil and a lot of my followers do too. So this is a great way to learn how to bake without oil using applesauce instead. You're also gonna add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and a pinch of pink Himalayan salt. And you're going to blend that all up until everything is nice and smooth. three quarters of a cup of unsweetened cacao powder. You could also use cocoa powder, but I just prefer to use cacao powder. And you're also gonna add one cup of gluten-free oat flour. And again, you're gonna blend that all up until it's creamy and smooth. Mine, I didn't need to scrape down the sides, but you might need to depending on your food processor. So don't be worried if you have to scrape down the sides or work it a little bit until it gets to the right consistency. Next, you're going to fold in your chocolate chips. This is totally based on preference in terms of the amount of chocolate chips you add. As you can see, I love chocolate chips, so I added a lot of them. But feel free to just eyeball it or measure it, whatever you want to do. And then just stir those all together. So I know normally you would bake brownies in a square or rectangular baking dish. Caleb and I didn't have one, so we decided to just use this round one. So all you're going to do is scoop all of your batter out of your food processor and pour it into your baking dish of choice and just spread it all out so it covers the bottom and it reaches all the edges so you make sure that they're thick enough and get every little bit of batter because I promise you guys it all counts. Now this part is totally optional but I decided to add even more chocolate chips to the top of mine just to, you know, make it look a little prettier, give it a little more chocolate and I just love the way that melted chocolate chips taste on top of brownies. After you're done putting your chocolate chips on top, you're gonna bake your brownies in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. I put mine in for 27 minutes and they turned out absolutely perfect. Then after they seem cooked enough to, for you, you can take them out. Um, you should let them cool for at least 20 minutes so they can cook a little bit more and then you can feel free to slice them up. We decided to cut ours like a pizza because you know, you, how else do you cut something in a round pan? And then you're all set. That's the entire recipe for the brownies. You are going to love them so much. They're so fudgy, so creamy, super delicious. And I'm just so excited to eat these. The second recipe we're gonna make is for a creamy buffalo dip. So for this one, you're gonna start by preheating your oven to 375 degrees. Then you're going to add one 15 ounce can of chickpeas drained and rinsed, a 12 ounce bag of steamed cauliflower, one cup of soaked and drained raw cashews, one cup of Frank's hot sauce, a half a cup of unsweetened plant milk, a half a tablespoon of lemon juice, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, about a teaspoon of black pepper, maybe more than a teaspoon, 
about a teaspoon of onion powder and about a teaspoon of garlic powder and a pinch of pink Himalayan salt all to a food processor at once and you're just gonna blend that all up until it is nice and creamy and smooth making it perfect dip texture depending on how soaked your cashews are you may need to blend for a bit longer but um, just keep keep pushing down keep blending it until it is creamy and smooth Then you're gonna transfer your dip to your prepared baking dish. I didn't need to spray mine or anything because this is a nonstick pan. So you're just gonna scrape all of that out into your pan. And then cover it with some aluminum foil. Then you're gonna put it in the oven to bake for about 20 minutes. After the 20 minutes is up, you're going to remove the foil, turn your oven to broil, and cook for about 5 more minutes with the oven door open, and this just makes the top nice and crispy and mm, delicious. And there you have it, the creamiest, most delicious buffalo dip in the entire world. I swear to God, it is so, so good. The third recipe we're going to make is for a fan favorite and one of my personal favorites ever, edible chocolate chip cookie dough. This recipe is so easy. You're just going to start by mixing 4 ounces of unsweetened applesauce, which I just measured in a mason jar, a quarter cup of maple syrup, a quarter cup of smooth nut butter, I used almond butter, one cup of gluten-free all-purpose flour and you're just gonna stir that all together until it makes a dough consistency it might take a little bit to get it fully mixed then you're gonna add in your chocolate chips and just like the brownies this is all about personal preference however many chocolate chips you want to add once again, I love chocolate chips, so I added a lot of them, but it's totally up to you. And then you're just going to stir that all together, folding the chocolate chips in. And that's actually the end of this recipe. It's so simple. So our final movie night recipe is for these loaded vegan nachos. My mouth is honestly watering just looking at them, thinking about how good they were when I ate them. So you're going to start by making your nacho cheese sauce and you're going to add a cup of soaked and drained raw cashews, one and a half cups of water, a quarter of a cup of nutritional yeast flakes, a tablespoon of minced garlic, a tablespoon of chopped onion, a tablespoon of lemon juice, a tablespoon of tahini, some pink Himalayan salt, some cracked black pepper and that's it you're just gonna blend that all up until it's super smooth it's gonna look a little watery at first but don't worry about it we're gonna make it nice and thick to thicken the cheese sauce you're gonna pour it into a pan on medium heat and just stir it around for a few minutes it really will thicken up and make it such a great nacho cheese consistency so just stick with it so yeah just leave it on the heat and keep stirring it until it turns into a cheese sauce like this and now it's time to build the nachos I decided to use tortilla chips usually when I make nachos we use baked potato slices but it's a movie night and we were feeling just the salty crunchiness of chips. Then we decided to add some Gardein meatless crumbles. You could totally use black beans in replace of these. We personally just really like these and just wanted some authentic nachos. Then you're going to pour on your nice thick and creamy cashew cheese sauce. Whatever toppings you want we decided to add some fresh diced tomatoes 
some black olives, which are my personal favorite. Some green onion. And a big plop of mashed avocado, which was all for me because Caleb doesn't like avocado. And the recipe is as simple as that. Dig in and I promise you will not be disappointed. Alright guys, so we thought we would film a bit of a taste test just because we want to try everything because we're starving. And even though it's all already cold because this took forever, hopefully it still tastes good. <laughs> So let's try first. So first we're gonna try the creamy buffalo dip. Oh, which still feels kind of warm actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's so good. It tastes like buffalo chicken. I'm kind of convinced that if you put hot sauce on anything, it tastes like buffalo chicken, even if there's like nothing with the texture of chicken in it. Now we're gonna try nachos. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> Even though the chips are pretty dang soggy. Not as soggy as the one from the buffalo. No, dip. yeah. The one from the buffalo dip has been sitting in there forever because we used it for a picture. Oh my god. It's I really need good. another. I mean, really, anything with black olives, I'm, I'm going to be a fan of. There's cheese, though. It's good. Mmm. Now. Edible cookie dough, but this is what I'm kind of questionable about because the it seems pretty sticky, but hopefully it turned out good. Tastes like cookie, Tastes dough. Like cookie dough. It's a little chewy. Chewy and sticky. But it's still the flavor is really good. Texture's kind of like oatmeal that doesn't have enough liquid in it. Mm -hmm. Now. Oh. For the oh. most exciting thing, brownies. Because neither of us have ever had vegan brownies. We also had to make like pizza slices because we didn't have a red or a square pan. Whatever. That's a brownie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I haven't had a brownie in years. I can't even think of how long it's been. Oh. oh my god. They're really good. Mmm. Anything tastes better if you eat it like a pizza. Uh-huh. Alright, so... I have, like, a bunch of brownie on the roof of my mouth. <laughs> if you guys make any of these recipes, make sure you take a picture and tag me on Instagram. I really hope you make some of them because they turned out really freaking good. Yeah, these are all really good. And now we're gonna have our little movie day slash night and eat all of this food and i'll see you in the next one make sure give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe down below and i already said i'll see you in the next one but i will bye, bye.